Dum, da, 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 dum, bum, bum. Yum, bum, 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 bum. It's like looking inside Bach's private sphere and seeing what's going on inside the family and their circle of friends. Here we are doing something that's genuinely new and for the first time. And it's often regarded as a book for beginners, but it's interesting that it is really much more than this. In a way, this book also reflects my own experiences with Bach. I grew up with the music of Bach. I was a soprano singer in a boys' choir. Uh, and uh, I played the piano and the organ from, uh, uh, you know, um, age five, uh, six on, and it, it brought me back into my musical past. The Anna Magdalena notebooks are albums that Johann Sebastian carefully prepared for his young wife, Anna Magdalena who was a singer at the court of Köthen and who then joined him uh, when he moved to uh, Leipzig. And we have one book that was prepared in Köthen and another one that was prepared in the first years of Leipzig. So it became from a very personal gift to a family project. You can say she, she wanted to write in pieces of um, the young Bach family composers of the sons and pieces which were important in pedagogical aspects and perhaps also there are many pieces for singers so she was a professional singer so she also wanted to have pieces which could be performed at Bach's house perhaps so many different things starting with a personal gift often find uh, a misconception among uh, people who think that the uh, notebooks were uh, books that contained simple pieces for students. But that's only one aspect uh, uh, of it. They com contained very complicated pieces, artful compositions, but then a lot of works which were collected from various dance uh, uh, publications uh, for pedagogical purposes. And by no means are these compositions uh, all by J.S. Bach. Uh, in fact, the majority are by other composers and in many instances we don't even know their names. These albums also carried two of the most important sets of keyboard suites that Bach composed, the so-called French suites and the partitas. They were entered in the uh, notebooks for Anna Magdalena. That means they were dedicated to her. And I think that was a very important aspect in their compositional history, although this was forgotten later on because they were marketed separately out of the album, uh, but the album really was uh, the origin for these pieces. For Bach, composition and performance were inseparable. And I think Bach's way of teaching, uh, and the notebooks reflect that very clearly, was a combination of analyzing the piece of music so that you really understand what the structural background is, and then you would be able to perform it well. So, uh, you know, the composition would have come to life uh, on the basis of your understanding of uh, the structure of the music. I think it is uh, clear from this book also that Bach and his wife were collaborators. She didn't just copy for him. He also, I think, asked for her advice when it came uh, to vocal parts, singing style, to phrasing, to relating words to music. So I think uh, this was a genuine partnership, musical partnership, uh, which benefited both of them. Well, 
it couldn't be better that it's Christoph Wolf who's produced this edition. Um, there's a sort of joke that um, some people say that he's Bach's living representative on earth. Um, and in a way, that's just factually true because he does know, I think, more about Bach. He's internalized Bach and his world and, uh, and the sources and the development of the musical language and what Bach did with it. Um, he is so super knowledgeable. Um, and, and yet, I think also in producing this particular edition of the Anna Magdalena Notebook, has also found new things. And, and in a way, that's really rather reassuring and refreshing in, that you can be Christoph Wolf and still find something that you think, yes, that's really interesting. The last critical edition of the uh, two notebooks uh, was published 62 years ago. And so much has happened in Bach scholarship that it was really important to make a uh, new edition. And among the more important aspects were the attributions of quite a number of compositions to specific composers. For example, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach, the second son, entered for his stepmother a number of pieces, and we now can identify them as such because they are written in his hand, and also we can date them quite clearly uh, because uh, they were entered before Carl Philipp Emanuel left uh, his parental home in 1734. So they are from the early 1730s. Uh, we also uh, know that um, one of the Polonaises comes from the pen of Johann Adolf Hasse, the Dresden opera composer, uh, and also a, a friend of Bach's, and we didn't know that because they are entered all without authors' names. Well, I think we, we felt it was really important to do um, two editions of, of this project. Uh, so this absolute wonderful source uh, text. And then, of course, the, sort of the selection uh, volume is sort of accepted in the market and is, is the way people actually get into this uh, selection of music. So. Um, we've still done that, but the great value is that selection is pulled from this wonderful scholarship by Christoph Wolf in the Urtext. Well, we uh, designed the edition as a scholarly edition, but as a scholarly edition that informs uh, musical practice. And, you know, it's my hope, uh, and I think the publisher's hope, that this will be widely distributed also in, uh, you know, an excerpted uh, edition for practical use by beginners uh, as well as uh, by professionals who have uh, different ambitions. And uh, I think the flexibility of the uh, original Bach albums uh, is uh, supposed to be reflected in the current use of them. I think if you today speak about Bach and his music, you directly have to call Christoph Wolf's name because he is one of the most important researchers in this field. And I like about him very much that he is not interested alone in this research, but also to bring it to people, to students, to uh, bring Bach not only as a composer, but also as a human being. In a way, I think that Bach has become a sort of more real person for me as a result of seeing these editions. Uh, he's not just a composer whose works we perform now, but suddenly he's a real person with family and children and this relationship uh, with his second wife that's expressed in, in this uh, notebook.